वेलकम टू टेक्नो मैथ वे यू कैन फाइंड मैथमेटिकल शॉर्टकट टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर ट्रिक्स क्लिक हेयर टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू रिमूव द हिडन फोल्डर वायरस फ्रॉम योर यूएसबी डिस्क एंड एक्सटर्नल हार्ड ड्राइव सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू सी हियर आई हैव एन a 4 gb usb pen drive attached to my computer and if you open this computer there is a virus called my removable device it's a shortcut created and all my important data you can see here there's a lot of important data available in my pen drive but it's not visible as of now right so we need to remove this shortcut virus and if you want to uh, make visible your important data then go to tools option then select folder options go to the views tab and select this show hidden files folders and drives and uncheck this hide protected operating system files click on yes and click on okay here you can see there are a lot of weird folders and files available in this USB disk and if you are thinking that just by deleting this shortcut or by formatting your USB disk your problem will be resolved then you are wrong as soon as you format your USB disk and reconnect it to your computer it will recreate this virus so follow this simple procedure to get rid of this now if you want to see whether uh, this shortcut virus has has affected your computer or not open the task manager and go to the processes tab under the processes tab find out these exe file that is w u a u c l t dot exe this is the exe file responsible for windows update okay now if you see two files with the same file name that is this exe comes twice here it means that one of the file is the genuine windows file and the other one is the virus okay however if you see only one file it means that the original either the original windows file has been disabled by the virus and whatever you see here is the virus so let's consider there are two files however uh, i am having currently only one file so let's consider there are two exes then go to the control panel click on this arrow right here and select all control panel items go to the last option that is windows update select change settings and click on this never check for updates option and click on okay as i have already been i have already selected that option it means that that windows update has been disabled as of now in that case this windows update file should not appear here and that is why it is appearing only once it means that whatever file is appearing here is the virus okay now in order to remove this virus completely from your computer go to your c drive and go to this temp folder remember this if this temp folder is not visible under your c drive then go to the tools folder option views and uncheck this hide protected operating system file once you uncheck it it will ask you to confirmation then click on yes and also select this show hidden files option click on okay once you click on that it will be visible for you as of now uh, it is however visible for me so i'm just going into that folder and 
if you see this application available here that is trusted installer which is the actual virus okay this is the virus launcher it means that it launches that shortcut virus whenever I whenever I plug in the USB drive to my computer and I'm going to just leave it as of now here because deleting these installer will not resolve the issue and as soon as you restart your computer shut down your computer and once again you start it it will be recreated so follow this process now so now open the task manager again and find out this exe file that is w u a u c l three that is the virus we are seeing right click on it and select open file location once you click on it it will open c drive windows and system 32 folder where the actual file is located right click on that file and click on properties once the properties of uh, window is open then go to the security tab and under this group or username section you will file find that trusted installer which we have seen in the temp folder right okay once you click on trusted installer click on advanced setting and go to the owner tab once you click on the owner tab click on the edit option and here select any one of your computer administrative account so I'm going to select this account click on ok it will ask you some uh, window pop-up asking if you have just taken the ownership object you will need to close and reopen these object properties before you can view or change the permission so click on ok and go to the permission tab again here if you are seeing uh, this trusted installer again then go to the change permission option and select the trusted installer here don't double click it click it just select it and click on remove okay now click on ok it will ask you the same pop-up again click on yes click on ok once you click on ok on the properties tab that window will be closed okay now go to the task manager again go to the same service right click on it open the file location again right click on it and click on properties go to the security tab again and here you will see that trusted installer is not available right now okay now what we need to do is we need to change the permission for all of this user okay for this exe file we need to change the permission so select first system and click on advanced then select whatever the first is I'm going to select the administrator and click on change permission again here select the administrator click on edit and here select deny all options okay so I am denying all the permissions for administrator to launch this process we are going to do the same thing for system so click on system now click on edit and deny all click on ok it is the same for the third user click on edit and deny all click on ok 
वंस यू डू इट क्लिक ऑन ओके द विंडो सिक्योरिटी पॉपअप विल कम्स अगेन एंड क्लिक ऑन यस अगेन क्लिक ऑन यस here you you will be able to see that we have changed the permission for all that is deny change the permission for all the users click on okay here also you can see that the permission has been changed for system for administrator and for specific user and final click on okay then we are going to disable the windows update services so go to the run command and type services.msc and click on okay once the services window is open then under the name scroll down and find out windows update just expand this name there it is so right click on it click on properties and startup type as disabled and also under the service status click on stop once the service has been stopped then go to the task manager again and uh, we need to end this particular process so right click on it and click on end process tree and close the windows task manager now restart your computer and uh, check whether the virus is removed from your computer or not so i'm just going to restart my computer so now i have restarted my computer and i'm going into my pen drive so i'm going into it and you will be able to see that the virus has been removed I hope you like the video please keep share it and provide the valuable comments in the below comment box thank you